one of the main ways to make interesting vocal sounds is to take an audio clip of a vocal and then stretch it. So let me show you how that might work and a few things to consider. Della, della. A simple vocal one shot. Now when it comes to stretching vocals, you could stretch it inwards or outwards, but most of the time it tends to sound more interesting if you stretch it outwards, so you make it longer. Different DAWs will do this in different ways, but in the case of Ableton, you do this stretching with audio clips using warp or warping. So I'd go down to warp and turn it on, allowing me to manipulate the audio. And I could say, insert some warp markers with these yellow guys. And you can see and also hear that this audio clip has now been stretched. However, did you also notice what happened to the audio that got made longer? Compared to the original. The bit of audio that got made longer went down in pitch, and it went down in pitch because of the warp mode. The warp mode is on re-pitch. Now what the warp mode is, is it's the algorithm used to process the audio, because whenever you make audio longer or shorter, you have to do something to it. Even if that something is nothing, you have to do something to physically make it longer. What the re-pitch algorithm does is absolutely nothing. As you therefore make the audio longer, it will bring the pitch down because all the peaks will get further apart, so the frequency of those peaks will be smaller than before. The advantage of the repitch algorithm is the quality remains full quality, and also it can sometimes sound quite cool, but there are other situations when you don't want the pitch to change, and that's when you could choose a different option, say texture tends to work pretty well. Della, della. Hear how the pitch is now the same as it was initially? That's because of this texture algorithm. What the texture algorithm does is stretch the audio by slicing it into grains and then pulling the grains apart a bit if you want to imagine the technical processing behind what's going on. But in real terms, it keeps the pitch the same, but you get this cool grainy quality. Della, della. Della, della. Della. Naturally, you can change the grain size. giving different creative results. The important thing here though is not the specifics of the Ableton warp modes, because different DAWs and different versions of the software will have different algorithms, different modes to stretch audio. The important thing is to try different modes and experiment with them to get interesting and creative results. Another direction I could maybe go with this is not just to stretch out the middle bit, but make maybe the whole thing four or even eight times longer. So I'll just remove the warp markers, hit the times by two button a few times, change the grain size to be the default around 65. Maybe I don't quite like the result of the grainy algorithm for the front bit of the sound, but I do for the rest, so I could contract the front bit, leaving the rest long. Perfect, and just like that I have an interesting bit of something.